May Allah protect us all. Look at this man, young baby, born, Fir'aun, looking, searching. His men were everywhere. They were spies all over. They didn't hear, they didn't witness, they didn't see. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inspired his mother to do something unique, to put him into a little casket or a basket and to put him or literally to cast him into the Nile, into the river, cast him into the river. How can I do that? Don't worry. The one who made him will look after him. Subhanallah. The one who made him will look after him. Allah says, Alqihi fil yammi wa la takhafi wa la tahzani inna raddu ilayki wa ja'iluhu min al-mursaleen. Instruction from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inspiration from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Take him and place him in the water, in the river. Allah will return him to you. Allah says, we will return him to you. Subhanallah. And we will make him from amongst those who is sent. We will make him a messenger. He's going to have something big. Subhanallah. And what happened? Allah did not bless the Pharaoh with children. They were looking for this male child. And the wife, as she was walking, she notices this little casket and she picks up this baby. And the baby was absolutely gorgeous, absolutely innocent, totally. And cut a long story short, they looked after Musa alayhi salatu was salam until he grew quite old. He was not suckling from anyone because that was the plan of Allah. And they were desperate to get him to suckle because he needed to survive until subhanallah, subhanallah. Amazingly, Allah returned the baby as a baby, as an infant to the mother. He would be brought in the highest form of luxury. He would be brought to the mother. The mother would suckle, spend some time, etc., etc., look after him, breastfeed him, whatever else, and send him back. And he suckled from no one else. This is the power of Allah. Never underestimate the power of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala.